Hello dear students. So in this particular lecture, we will discuss what are the various type of section we have for a singly reinforced beam. So in our previous session, we have discussed how to analyze the stress block parameter completely and we have done the analysis of that particular stress diagram which is to be used to find out the total C force and total T force in case of singly reinforced beam, right? And guys, uh, one more thing we have already completed that is basically the type of neutral axis we have like actual depth of neutral axis limiting depth of neutral axis so how to estimate it we have done this particular thing already right so those student who are didn't complete that particular lecture please go through that particular lecture then you are able to understand this particular session very easily okay so in this particular session we will discuss how to find out the which type of section is this it is under reinforce over reinforce or limiting section and how we can calculate the moment of resistance. So guys, uh, in our previous session, we have discussed how to find out the limiting depth of neutral axis by using the strain diagram. So this is the value of limiting depth of neutral axis. By using the strain diagram, we are able to calculate it. And the second one is basically our actual depth of neutral axis. And the actual depth of neutral axis can be calculated on the basis of stress diagram. So you can see here guys, this one is our strain diagram and the analysis and this one is our uh, stress diagram and this is our value of actual depth of neutral axis right now guys let's understand what are the various type of section we have because on the comparison of actual depth of neutral axis and the limiting depth of neutral axis we are able to understand which particular section we have so let me give you one simple understanding of these sections just imagine guys if your actual depth of neutral axis if your actual depth of neutral axis is less than limiting depth of neutral axis then this particular section is known as what under reinforced section right and if you talk about the limiting section in case of limiting section the value of actual depth of neutral axis and the limiting depth of neutral axis is same if you talk about over reinforced section then the actual depth of neutral axis is greater than limiting depth of neutral axis now the question is sir how we can find out the moment of resistance for these section right so let's understand one by one these sections so first we will discuss this is our simple singly reinforced beam in which various components are over here like stress diagram strain diagram we have c force t force lever arm and this analysis we have already done in our first lecture right so you know that guys this is our cross section of a singly reinforced beam in which this value is ast this is our overall depth this one is our effective depth and this is our width of the section now this is our strain diagram then in the strain diagram this is the maximum permissible strain on the bending compression and this is the maximum permissible strain on bending tension you remember guys we have discussed the total c force value is equal to how much it is 0.36 fck into b into xu and the total t force is equal to 0.87 fy into ast and the distance between these two forces is nothing as our lever arm which is d minus 0.42 xu now to calculate the moment of resistance our task is to use this particular stress diagram and this particular cross section right so let's understand how we can do it so first section is our under reinforced section so in case of under reinforced section, you know that guys, the actual depth of neutral axis is less than limiting depth of neutral axis, right? So right now you can see here guys, this is our limiting depth of neutral axis, which is represented by this particular line. And this is our actual depth of neutral axis, which is represented by this line. So you can see here guys, up to this much area of concrete is useful to calculate the moment of resistance for us, right? So guys, what will be the C force value up to this level of concrete? It is equal to 0.36 FCK into B into XU. While calculating the moment of resistance in case of under reinforced section, you have to use XU value, not XU limiting. Okay. So this is our C force and this one is our T force, which is 0.87 FY into AST. And the distance between these two forces is lever arm D minus 0.42 XU. Now guys. If I want to calculate the moment of resistance, so we know that it is nothing as C force into lever arm or either T force into lever arm, right? So you can write here, the formula is 0.36 FCK B into XU multiplied by lever arm value 
or you can use the moment of resistance calculation from the tension side also 0.87 fy into ast into d minus 0.42 xu by doing this we are able to calculate the moment of resistance easily now just imagine guys if i want to calculate the ast value in this particular section how i can calculate by equating the c force and t force value we can do it okay let me show you that so c force is equal to t force we can write here 0.36 fck b into xu is equal to 0.87 fy into ast now just imagine guys all the parameter you know fck b xu and fy you are able to estimate the value of ast easily right now i think all of you are able to understand what is basically our under reinforced section there is some more point guys which we need to discuss uh, let me explain those point also in case of under reinforced section which particular material is critical so you know that guys there are two things one is basically the concrete and the second one is steel so in this particular case steel will fail first right steel will reach to its maximum permissible stress condition right so in this case ductile failure will occur ductile failure will occur and steel will fail first steel will fail first okay now let's understand the next one which is our limiting section so in case of limiting section the actual depth of neutral axis is equal to limiting depth of neutral axis right so you can see here guys we have represented the actual depth of neutral axis and the limiting depth of neutral axis by a single line so this one is our limiting and this one is our actual depth of neutral axis so in this case our section reached to its maximum permissible condition of the stresses and the strain value as well as guys uh, you can say that the moment of resistance which we want to calculate from tension side or compression side it will same over here right so in case of calculation of moment of resistance you need to use the value of xu limiting kindly use xu limiting value okay now again this is our stress diagram in this case what we have to do we have to use xu limiting this one is also xu limiting this one is also xu limiting value correct now guys mr value c force into lever arm or t force into lever arm so again you can use 0.36 fck now you have to write x to limiting multiply by b multiply by lever arm value d minus 0.42 x to limiting similarly if you want to calculate the moment of resistance from tension side you need to write down 0.87 fy into ast d minus 0.42 x u limiting right so from either of the formula you can calculate the value of moment of resistance in case of limiting section so in this case both the material will reach to its maximum permissible strain and both the material will fail at the same time right so steel and concrete fail at the same time clear clear now guys just imagine if i want to calculate the area of steel which is required in limiting section how i can calculate by equating c force is equal to t force again so we can write here 0.36 fck b into xu limiting be careful while writing the xu value xu limiting is equal to 0.87 fy into ast limiting now guys it is very easy to calculate the ast limiting value ast limiting is equal to how much it will be equal to 0.36 fck b into xu limiting divided by 0.87 fy that's it and this is nothing as our ast limiting value which we is required in this case now guys if we talk about the under reinforced section once again so for under reinforced section what will happen the area of steel which you have provided is lesser than the area of steel which is required in case of limiting section right and that's why it is known as what it is known as our under reinforced section clear now guys let's understand the last section which we have which is known as our over reinforced section so in case of over reinforced section the actual depth of neutral axis is greater than limiting depth of neutral axis 
but we know that guys at the limiting condition when both the material will fail how we can utilize the greater depth of xu it is not possible right now you can see here guys this is our actual depth of neutral axis and this is our limiting depth of neutral axis so how you can utilize the greater area of concrete which is greater than the limiting one it is not possible and that's why guys we have to calculate the moment of resistance for the over reinforced section up to limiting condition only greater than that value it is not possible to have in case of singly reinforced beam or in case of doubly reinforced beam also right so you can see here we are able to calculate the moment of resistance in this particular case from only one side which is basically a compression side it is not possible to calculate the value of ast from the tension side why it is so i will tell you right so in this case also guys you need to use the x u limiting value x u limiting value x u limiting value so again the formula will remain same 0.36 fck b into x u limiting multiplied by b bracket d minus 0.42 x u limiting so this is our moment of resistance from the compression side but if you calculate the value of moment of resistance from the tension side what you will observe guys this value is higher than this one the moment of resistance which you are getting from the tension side is greater than as compared to the moment of resistance from the compression side the reason is the ast value the ast value which you are trying to put it is higher than the limiting one and that is the issue guys due to which you are getting a higher value of moment of resistance from tension side and that's why do not use tension side formula to calculate the moment of resistance in case of over reinforced section right so always prefer compression side formula for over reinforced section right so in this case guys which material will fail in this case concrete will fail concrete will fail first and which type of failure is this when concrete will fail brittle failure brittle failure will occur correct now in this case guys again if you want to calculate the ast the same formula you can use but be careful we know that guys in this case ast value is higher than the ast limiting and that's why such type of section is known as over reinforced section so our main task is to utilize the under reinforced section or to utilize the limiting section most of the time we will not design or we will not use the over reinforced section in the field right so this is all about for today guys i hope all of you are able to understand the concept now we have done all three lecture which is basically the stress block parameter different type of neutral axis and the different type of section now in our next session which is basically tomorrow in which i will discuss the top questions which is related to these parts okay so be there guys and let's discuss all the questions in that particular lecture which is related to this topic okay thank you so much for joining the session let's meet in the next one bye guys